Also, guys, there will be spoilers, so you have been warned. Godzilla 2014 had a potential of being a good movie for the first 40 minutes, but after kill off Joe Broody, who was shown as a husband whose birthday was on the day his wife died. I don't think he'll remember his birthday anymore because his wife died and he'll probably won't enjoy it. Look. So the funny part about this movie is that it's called Godzilla. When Godzilla barely shows up in the movie, he only shows up for like 10 minutes. The entire movie's runtime. And when we see him in action, it's unsatisfying. Since in Godzilla, I mean the movie Godzilla, we keep on being teased the fights. There's no suspense. So it would be good to have a little suspense, no? But instead they keep on teasing, you know, the next upcoming fights of the movie. Godzilla fighting some monsters for like a couple of minutes when the rest of the two hours is just based on these humans instead of the monsters. Just hope at least the sequel to Godzilla isn't as half big as this stupid movie that had good potential but just threw it all away. They're scared about making money, I don't know. Making a second protagonist, Joe's son, who I guess has a wife and kid, isn't interesting as his dad, Joe Brody, played by the guy who plays Walter White in that Breaking Bad show that everybody talks about. But the worst part is he is very underdeveloped compared to his development of his father. Did I tell you guys that this film has pretty bad lighting as well? Most of the time, this film is just filmed in the dark. So, it's very hard to see stuff most of the time. Which sucks for the film. We talk about the good stuff in this film. It's gonna be pretty short, let's just do it anyway. Joe Broody was an interesting protagonist, but gets wasted by getting an unemotional death. Man, that must have sucked a lot for the actor. I feel bad for the actor for being in this movie. I also like every scene Elizabeth Olsen is in this movie, yeah, I don't have any complaints about her being in the movie. If this video reaches 100 views, then I will have to watch Godzilla The King of Monsters, which is a sequel to Godzilla 2014. I would give a 5 out of 10 since half the film is the highlight of the entire film in my point of view, I think. This video didn't convince you to subscribe to the channel, I don't know what I'll do. And check out my movie shorts playlist in my description down below. I action and Godzilla appears a lot more in this movie compared to Godzilla 2014. The night is when they fight the most. There are fight scenes between King Ghidorah. I don't know how to say that. Ghidorah is way better than the other monsters that appear in the movie. This film is to make the monsters more interesting than the humans because the only good human character is Madison played by Millie Bubbly Brown. I kind of regret watching this movie because it's not bad or good, it's just all right. Okay. With a fat, ugly face. But in this new Godzilla movie poster, Godzilla is just shooting a blue super blast, whatever you call it, out of his mouth. So now, in this poster, he looks like, yo, dudes, the Empath. If you chill, maybe you could like join it or something. He's probably like that when he's just shooting blue flames out of the sky. Probably killing a lot of helicopters. Or airplanes. Also, this movie made less money than his prequel, Godzilla. Oof, man. That must have sucked so much.